tell y'all a story about the time when I was trying to write a piece and I had writer's block. So I went to my memo app to try to find some bars and I found a memo called Final Letter. And to my surprise, it wasn't a poem. It was filled with apologies and I love you to the ones that I leave behind. Just in case the day comes where they evolve from just thoughts to actions of suicide and I might have mentioned your name. Trying to reassure you that you're not the one to blame. I know that you tried and so did I, but neither one of our voices was loud enough to silence the sound of these demons inside. I tried. I tried to explain it. I had a couple moments of happiness here and there, and I tried to maintain it, but sadness stole most of the expression from my face. Maybe I'm overly sensitive to trauma. And this cycle of thinking that I gotta handle everything on my own is what I'm trapped in, because I always seem to feel safe in the words that never became actions, and I broke so many bad habits just to see myself falling back in, back into the same defense mechanisms that I threw away to prove. That giving a fuck is seeing how long you could put up with some shit that you normally wouldn't take. Like, how long can I go out my comfort zone to make sure that I deliver as I watch people make a game out of my triggers, making a mess out of my emotions? I paint my dramas into these pieces open that they make a home here instead of in my mind. But they're living in my head rent free, so it's like regardless of the amount of support that I receive, I still feel empty and everything is gonna be okay is some shit that I just don't believe because the pattern shows me that the slightest sign of happiness means that it's gonna be interrupted by trauma. Mm. It means that sleepless nights are around the corner. Or maybe sleeping excessively because that's the closest thing that I can get to to death. And I used to be able to be optimistic, but I gotta keep it a buck with you. I'm afraid of what comes next, so mm. lately, lately happiness has been a feeling that I try to ignore. Cause it's like for every blessing I get, trauma tries to even the score for every fraction of hope that spares the common denominator and the way that I wake up to the sound of suicidal thoughts is a little too frequent. I don't think it's normal. Mm. But anytime anybody asks me if I'm okay, I'm so used to keeping it cordial because me being strong enough to think happy keeps everybody around me comfortable. You see the brightness in my face, smile is faded, but it's still functional because every time I say I'm fine, they believe me. Mm. And anytime I tell them I'm thinking about dying, they tell me that they need me, but that's the problem. And at times I can feel myself spiraling and I don't like the big part of me is fine with it so now I can't feel okay with the home within myself because inside ain't safe and now these four walls get to watch me break and I'm starting to feel like I need more than a therapist because mm -hmm. I can't keep trying this, this positive shit, this mindfulness, this stress management tips, I need more than that. I need a person or a place that can make me feel safe where I could give genuine love without receiving pain and exchange I need. Mm -hmm. feel nothing. Kind of like the way this trauma numb me up because life is easier when you don't give a fuck. And even though I don't feel like my true self when I'm like that, it works for me because I can't seem to stop loving the ones that keep hurting me. Mm -hmm. So the day that I wake up and I decide to speak up for myself, don't take that shit personally because for years I've been a punching bag to life and people ask me why I don't like to ask for help is because I feel more alone when I'm with them than when I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. It's like they just let me talk but they don't ever listen to the only form of connection that they got with me is when they reminiscing. Now every day I wake up and I say that I'm open shit, but I still try to make even the slightest effort into getting better so that nobody that I listed in that memo has to receive